Pode, pode, pode. Pode, pode, pode. Forgive me, friends, for I have sinned. In a previous video, I have called Grady Squares boring, and now I need to repent. For it is, of course, nearing Granny Square Day. And to repent for my grave, grave mistake, I will show my love and pride for Granny Squares in a garment. How does that sound as repenting? For Granny Square Day, we are going to make a Granny Square cardigan, which is, of course, very original and has never been done before. Maybe you should come closer and help me pick the colors. So right now I am thinking white. This is the one I spun on the heritage side. Whatever I have left over of the walnut dyed yarns when I made uh, my farmer's hat. This happy yellow yarn that I initially intended to make more of, but eventually didn't. And then I've got all these small purple skeins, which I think will make a nice contrast. Is that enough? What do I have still? I also have my Art Nouveau skein, but I think that's too similar to the yellow one, and I'd rather use the other one. And black would be too much of a contrast. So I think, I think we've got our colors. Thank you for helping me. So we have got our yarns, our scissors, our trusty cello taped hook, and a pattern. The pattern is the Ariana cardigan by Barocco. I will link it in the description. It is for free. People that don't live the chaos goblin life would probably have read the pattern beforehand before they picked out their yarns i did not and then i read 46 squares and 14 triangles and had a small panic so i eventually did grab my Ar Nouveau yarn as well and a another color which is these gray and very colorful sock yarns it's it's a three ply and all the rest is a two ply, but it's approximately the same thickness. So, um, some colorful chaos to add to it. I think that is just very fitting. So, here is our first square, and I must admit, it's not boring. I also wouldn't call it very pretty either, but I think because there are so much color changes in the yarn, this is going to be a project where it is just trust the process and then look at the end product because the colors together will make it special, I think. But what it also is, is too big. The pattern asks for a five rounds granny square that is 14 centimeters in diagonal and this is a 15 centimeter ruler yeah I have going to go with four round squares I think 
which, I don't know, it uh, kind of alleviates my panic of not having enough yarn to finish this. Even with four rows, it's actually still slightly too big, but yeah, I'm just going to call this good. I also prefer it with only the four rows, because now I have four separate colors. The pattern actually asks you to repeat your first color. I like it more this way. What about you? Tell me in the comments. Would you, did you like the five square better than the four square, or is this four square? your favorite as well. Now let's make 45 more. As I wasn't 100% assured that I had enough yarn, let's say uh, a little demon gnawing in the back of my head, I first made all the triangles I need. So 14 half granny square triangles and two quarter triangles. Because I thought, well, I can shorten, I can crop the cardigan, make it shorter sleeves if I need to, but I do need those 14 plus 2 triangles to make the shape work. So right now it's just, let's see how far we get. I hope somewhere nearing a cardigan. That would, that would be lovely. If you count it correctly, those are 21 squares, not 45. Aren't you being fed up of me being completely irresponsible in making projects without having enough yarn? So I had to think of a solution to be more frugal with the yarn that I still have, and that is that I flip the colors around. So the next 50% of the squares will be this one and then we'll make a checkerboard pattern and if you're hearing that 
in the background. That's my oven. I need to take my food out right now. We are now two quarter squares, 14 half squares, and 45 squares later. <laughs> Was it a great idea to convince myself quarter squares aren't boring by crocheting a shit ton of them? I'm not convinced. But now it's time to assemble the actual cardigan. And for that, I'm going to get my white yarn because maybe you have been asking yourself well i thought there was going to be white in there too this is the case and it's going to happen now i'm also not quite 100 percent convinced that this is going to be enough yarn to connect all of it but if it's not then we are just going to spin more on contrary to what i did with the squares which i have not told you yet um, so maybe I should, is that I ran out of my yellow yarns and I'm going to try and find a good example because of course it's deep, deep down in the squares. And I try and find some other yarns. These are like a little bit yellowy, gray, gray, greenish yarns to take the place of the original yellows. Right, over here is another example. I also used some brown, just some different colors to also mimic the color changing that the original yarns had. I first thought that I could alter the pattern to need less squares, but my math skills are not advanced enough for that, so I rather just use different yarns and then um, not break my brain over this. Assembly time! It's like we're making a row of bunting. Happy little flags. Party, party, party. Okay, so I kind of think it's a weird assembly construction because I only have to slip stitch in the space so the granny squares aren't like fully connected. I'm just going to continue. Maybe I have to stitch them up close later, but this is other kind of weird. So at this point I have connected three rows of squares and triangles and we can get a good look at the inverted square checkerboard pattern that it is creating. Yeah, I am digging this. So sometimes my chaos goblin ways subconsciously, inherently, make me do hacking creative stuff that I probably love more than the original idea. This is looking so grandma chic, vintage, whimsical. Mm. Speaking of whimsical, how do I get this? Let's get whimsical, whimsical. Out of my head, it's been two months. So as expected, the white didn't last the entire project, but we are having something slightly cardigan shaped already. So that was actually more than I expected. So the only thing that I can do to remedy this is to comb and spin some more of this white Flemish sheep. Now, <sighs> it is disgustingly hot outside, so 
um, I am going to move all my stuff to do just that inside. So yeah, a new day, a new yarn. I didn't intend or plan to make this project into an experiment as well, but that is tangentially related to the fact that I don't plan much <laughs> when it comes to these kind of projects. But yeah, this is some experimental yarn. While it was not consciously, I noticed that I was spinning my yarn with an S-twist instead of a Z-twist. So I then plied it with a Z-twist. While all my other yarns are exactly the other way around. So spun with a Z-twist, so clockwise, and plied with a S-twist counterclockwise. Now, while I was crocheting and actually also, mostly when I'm knitting, I do notice that my yarn untwists itself. I don't know if there is any visual evidence to support this, but if there is, you will see it right now. And since I subconsciously or unconsciously started spinning the wrong direction, I thought it was quite neat to check out whether or not the direction of my yarn has any influence on my crocheting and maybe eventually also my knitting because if you want to describe my knitting style disrespectfully it would be crochet with two pointy sticks more information on that in this corner so let's finish our project and compare the stitches I don't know what has gotten into my camera at this point, but um... Woof! Yeah, um, the twist direction of my yarn is making all the difference. What do you say? Is it looking like a cardigan already? Because we only need one more row of squares. And I will be the first to admit that I have some serious issues with geometry. And especially when that geometry is written out. If you're like me and you're more of a visual person than knowing what to do when there is writing person, then the Ariana pattern can be quite difficult because I feel that there is not sufficient information for some of the rows. I think that there are sentences missing. Like sometimes they say, attach one side of the triangle to square, I don't know, 44. But they don't say which side of the square and which side of the triangle, I mean. And the sides of the triangle are not equal. So I once in a while just flopped my work on here and checked whether it matched up with the drawing on the pattern, like two pages lower. That of course is also a problem I created by not printing my pattern, but just going off my cell phone screen. If you want to recreate this also with a checkerboard pattern, you need 22 of one color and 24 of the other. I only had 23 of the purple ones. For some reason unbeknownst to myself. Guys, gals and non-binary pals, we have got something wearable. Yay! It's not... Uh, probably need to see it with like cuffs and the border. But right now it's, it's... I'm not feeling it baggy. and That's not my style, but I can't do much about it because... This is just the squares. 
Uh, why yes, mine were a bit bigger than the one on the pattern, so I, I could have guessed it, but I'm like wearing a blanket. Maybe I'll like it in winter, but I'm, I'm just used to having cropped cardigans, also with higher necklines. Um, but we're still trusting the process, we're still trusting the process. We'll see how this looks when it is actually done. A quick interjection to tell you that yes, the yarn spun in the opposite direction than I usually do also makes a really big difference when knitting. So yay! If you saw any loose ends that still need to be woven in, no you didn't. So yeah, basically forget all that I have said about this project previously. I am so cozy. It is of course way oversized, way too big. Yes, I should have gone with a hook size smaller, but I didn't. I am living with the consequences and for now I am digging the consequences. I feel like your bohemian aunt, your art gallery and your curtains of your camper van and I mean that's a vibe. I am going for it. I'm digging this. Now also because when I knit the hem, the waistband, it kind of wants to do this. It flops on the inside instead of being full length which is for comparison purposes, like this. Now this is also a grandma look, but not the deranged grandma that I'm going for. So we're going to go back to, yeah, boo. It is also just a truth universally acknowledged that handspun garments are pure and utter magic. Not convinced? Then maybe you should make some yourself. It was also quite interesting, quite nice, to get back into a little bit of crochet also with last week's video with the festival accessories. I have been only knitting for years now and with that little side quest and this main quest which I did get done in time for Granny Square Day so yeah check deadlines. I think it was quite nice to go back to my gateway drug into the fiber arts well, I think I will leave it there for a moment and go back to the knitting for my next couple of videos, I guess. If you like these kind of fiber shenanigans, then maybe you could like, comment or subscribe. But of course, that is all up to you. And as for me, I will see you in a next video. Bye.